Al Dake isn't your normal 140-pound 12th grade wrestler. Of course, these days, what's normal? Kyle Russell's for the Lansing Bobcats, who are in Section 4's Interscholastic Athletic Conference, or IAC. At the time of writing this, since ninth grade, Kyle has achieved a record of 151 and two. That includes a third place finish in New York State in 2006, a first in 2007, a second in 2008. During a stretch from his loss in the state semis in 2006, up through his loss in the 2008 finals, Kyle didn't give up offensive points to his opponents. But for Kyle, his wrestling career didn't start in ninth grade. Actually, it's my 13th year this year. Started when I was four years old. Going into the wrestling room with my dad, because he's the coach at Lansing High School. I've just been doing that pretty much my whole life. In his high school wrestling career, Kyle's amassed over 200 wins. In addition to his high state placings, among Kyle's other notable accomplishments are he's been a four-time sectional champ, multiple times league champ, and four-time Clyde Cole champion. Despite all those accomplishments, there's still one that makes him prouder. My proudest accomplishment was last year. Um, I was training for the world team, and I went out to the world team trials in Colorado Springs, and I wrestled Erica Hollis, who's the number one recruit in the nation right now. And I had to wrestle two matches against him, and I beat him twice. I teched him the first match, and then I beat him 3-1, 3-1 in the second match to go to Istanbul, Turkey. Kyle went out to Istanbul, Turkey to compete in the World Junior Championships last July and August. He won his 60 kilogram qualifying match against a wrestler from Poland, but lost in the next round to an Egyptian wrestler. The experience was good for Kyle, but he says the wrestling's looked at differently on the other side of the world. The wrestling out there was like phenom was phenomenal, and it was just way different than it would be in the United States. The, even the fans are crazy. Like they go, they, it's like a basketball game. If you ever went to a college basketball game, that's what it was like out there. To compete successfully at such a high level, Kyle maintains a very rigorous workout schedule. It takes a lot of discipline and hard work to reach the level that he's at. But according to his trainer Dickie White of Shamrock Strength and Conditioning, Kyle's an asset in the weight room. Training, training Kyle is just an absolute pleasure. He, he's a high energy kid. He brings a lot of excitement in the weight room, a lot of, a lot of good, good energy, good vibes. He, he brings the best out of everyone that he trains with. So when I put him with a group, I know that everyone that works with him is going to get better. Because he just he pushes you, um, both verbally and then by the amounts of weights that in the, how he pushes himself internally. I mean, people thrive off of that and they, they, everyone gets better with him around. But why would such a gifted athlete want to put up with the demands of wrestling? It's just good to know that you're the only one out there and you control what happens and you don't have to rely on anyone else to make a perfect play or something like that in football. You can just do it, do what you want to do and you control everything. We asked Kyle what he would tell someone who was thinking about wrestling and here's what he had to say. Have fun. If you're not having fun, there's no point in doing it. So make sure you do all the little things to make, make you better, because if you're better, you're going to have more fun doing it. There's no fun to lose, and going out, doing those little things is going to make you win, and you're going to just love it even more. Championship advice from a true champion. Kyle's been accepted at Cornell University, and we wish him the best of luck in his future endeavors. For Combat Sports Digest, I am Jim Rotundo.